Hello YouTubers, VW friends, Beetle Busky of people. I uh, just gonna do a quick update here. Uh, as you can see, if you look into my video list, uh, I had did a pedal assembly refurbishment. Uh, I'm not saying the new pedal assemblies aren't any good. I would just prefer to use the original German stuff when possible, and I'm sure all of you would like to do that. Uh, I ran into a slight issue after I had put them in. Uh, I'll show you in some photo slides real quick what I mean. The pedal, the clutch pedal, when I put my assembly in, was sitting too far towards the firewall and not enough towards the seat, if that makes sense. I'll show you what I mean here. Now what I caught was the tab at the bottom of the clutch pedal that sits against the stop on the floor. It, I didn't bend it. It was just bent in the wrong position because I compared it to another pedal that I had available to me. I have a couple sets laying here and it hits against the bump stop on the floor and I had caught that something wasn't right. Uh, I don't believe the pedal assembly that I was rebuilding was from my car, or somebody would have caught that before. I got big boxes of parts when I got my project. So what I did is I bent that tab. As you can see here, it's in a different position now. And the pedal assembly ended up perfect, just like you can see here. I don't understand why it was like that because that's a pretty thick piece of metal to bend. It's, I don't get it, but maybe in a different car, the, I call it the bump stop on the floor, maybe it was in a different position. Could be, I really don't know. But now it's nice and even. So sometimes either the stop on the floor needs adjusted or the pedal assembly, but Mine still, when I compared it to two other sets I had here, mine was definitely bent. It, the other two were in the same position compared to the one that I rebuilt and put in. But let's take a look at it though here. You can see here that it definitely is sitting perfect now. And I should have probably filmed it from the passenger side. I'll go around to the other side in a moment here. But Okay, you can see now that where they sit. I adjusted them very nicely. They're nice and straight where they should be. Uh, I am gonna take an extra pair that I have and I'm gonna try something. Where a lot of us run into problems is our big feet here. And of course we end up hitting the brake pedal. They do sell a clutch extender I can find it online I'll put it in this video clip a picture of it and it moves the clutch pedal out further so your feet are not so close together here but that only moves the clutch out what about the brake versus the gas pedal when you have big feet I wear a size 12 and a half so it makes it tough I am gonna do a video a little later I have extra sets of pedals so I'm gonna rebuild uh, original German ones, but I'm going to try to fabricate to where the pedal is over one inch and the clutch is over one inch. One inch may not sound like much, but if the pedal was right here, the end of it instead of here, it is a lot. So I'll end up doing a video on that. But little trials and errors that you do run into, unfortunately, but now it's nice and even and set up great. Started working at the back here. Uh, like I said, I wasn't going to do any filming of wire wheeling because I just think it would, nobody's going to sit and watch it, to be honest with you. But that's just the primer. I did the luggage compartment underneath. It's done clear up inside. So I got to, uh, whoop, shaky camera. Uh, I'm going to put the coat of paint on it today.
but I'm not done. I still got to do all in there here. And then I got to weld that shut because some moron cut the engine compartment open from the inside, I guess, to get at the back of the engine. You know, these engines are very difficult to get out. So who knows why people do the things they do, but I'm going to have to weld that up and do some little bit of body work here. What a shame. But, yep, I got the brake lines out. Uh, I took the brake hoses. They're old and nasty. There's the brake lines. Actually, it's the one that goes from left to right in the back. Kind of looked almost like new. But I'm going to replace it anyhow because I'm buying a kit that comes with all the brake lines. But that one there, somebody cut anyhow, not me. And I cleaned up my fittings already for the back where they all come together so those are all ready to go back in but I'm just going to buy a brake line kit uh, is what I'm going to do it'll be easier somewhat and then I'm gonna to have to bend them all so I tried to get these out like this and like that so that I can stand up my workbench and pre-bend the lines that's just for the back though it'll make it much easier than being under the car and trying to bend them so that's that. And here's a little tidbit uh, with my 73 Super Beetle. I forget when these mounts started, maybe 73. But the transmission slash motor mounts are different than what we're used to seeing normally. Here's a left mount. It actually, this bolts to your cradle in the back for your transmission and that's your mounts quite different. I'm used to the mounts that don't have this on there and they bolt right to the cradle. But different, different, different. That's what I keep saying and you know it is what it is. Hey, jawbreaker, if you're watching this, check it out. <laughs> it needs cleaned up. I got dirt on it now. My buddy gave that to me. I thought that was pretty cool. So Hopefully you're watching this, Jawbreaker. I thought of you when I saw this recently. But uh, pretty cool, huh? I like that. And my little sunroof issue. I'm um, good to go now. A uh, guy on Islamic Classifieds had this. And this is the part I needed. I hope this is showing up. Uh, I had the, uh, the tracking, but it was a little bent. And 73 to 75 Super Beetle only. And this actually goes inside the car, obviously, and snaps up into the sunroof track. Well, not track, the, uh, the framing. It snaps up into it. So, luckily, the, they don't make these aftermarket. So, uh, a guy in Pennsylvania is where it happened to be, but I, it, was two, it was like three hours away. So, I had it shipped, and he treated me really good. But there, I'm going to clean this up and see how white I can get it. But very, very hard item to find uh, for 73 to 75 Super Beetle. So I got lucky on that one. Uh, I don't think there's any other hard parts to find. The windshields for this, the curved windshields, can get a little sketchy. I have my used one to put in. Hopefully it don't crack. I'm hoping not. If it does... Uh, there's two places I found the rest nobody even has them anymore and they're about 350 to 375 shipped so not real thrilled about that uh, Corey from uh, he belongs to the Fresh Air Club he's a member he offered to come over and help me when I'm ready with my windshield and put it in so uh, I really appreciate that but I gotta do the sunline sunroof tracking first then the headliner because it tucks up into the sunroof tracking then I'll be able to put the windshield in. So I'm going to keep pecking away, but I thought I'd do a quick update anyhow. And uh, I hope everybody has a really nice Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, by the time some of you see this, you may have already eaten turkey, you know, but uh, I hope everybody has a really, really nice, peaceful holiday. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.